Hey guys, what is up? It's Chrono Fairy, and I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the time in Hypixel Skyblock. Now this involves using the Day Saver and the Night Saver, which are two different uh, sort of items that you can craft and place them down in your Skyblock Island. So basically what they'll do is that they will, they will either set it to daytime permanently or nighttime permanently. So I'm going to show you guys how to craft and unlock the day saver and night saver and I'm going to be crafting it here in today's video and placing it down so that you guys can see how it actually works. And I'm also going to be showing you guys how to get the sunflowers which are required for crafting the day saver as well as brown mushrooms which are required for crafting the night saver. So if you guys want to see more guides like this, be sure to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing for more Minecraft and Hypixel Skyblock videos. Now guys, the first step is that I want to show you guys the crafting recipe. Now first of all, you need to have mined some nether quartz in the first place because you unlock the day saver at 250 nether quartz and the night saver at 100 nether quartz. So how you get nether quartz, I'm sure most of you guys already know. You want to head into the blazing fortress. So you want to head up the spider's den, the tower and the spider's den, right? The spiral. And then you want to head on to the blazing fortress and that's where you can get yourself some nether quartz and just 100 nether quartz and you unlock the recipe for the night saver. So we're going to be crafting the night saver first. Now as you can see the recipe involves glass, nether quartz and brown mushrooms. Now really simple, glass you get from sand and how do you get sand in Hypixel Skyblock? Well the easiest way would actually be to buy some sand. There's an NPC uh, in the hub area which will sell you sand and it's really cheap. So just buy sand. That way is the easiest way to get sand and then of course you put it in the furnace and you smelt it and you get glass. So that's how you get glass. And as for brown mushrooms, I'm going to be overlaying some footage that you see right here on screen of me getting some brown mushrooms. Basically you want to head on to the farm and then when you head towards the end of the farm, there's a, there's a warp area to the barn and when you head over to the barn, there's another warp area which will bring you over to the mushroom island and that's where like you can see cactus and uh, brown mushrooms for you to destroy. So you just want to destroy the brown looking mushrooms and you get some brown mushrooms there. Really, really simple. Okay guys, so I'm going to be crafting the night saver first. So you want to put three glass at the top and you want to put nether quartz in the middle. And last but not least at the bottom, you want to place some brown mushrooms and there you go guys you have yourselves a night saver so we're gonna place this down in just a moment but first let's talk about the day saver guys so the day saver the recipe is a bit different it involves the use of sunflowers so if you want to go on and look over here day saver at 250 nether quartz you need to get sunflowers and how you get sunflowers guys is actually really really simple the easiest way is that you want to buy it from the auction house it's actually dirt cheap Usually a stack of sunflowers costs like maybe 64 or 100 coins, you know, it's really, really cheap. So you want to get yourself a stack of sunflowers. I'm going to show you guys this neat little trick. Basically, once you have a stack of sunflowers, you can get unlimited sunflowers. Now you might be asking me, how do you go about doing that? Well, first of all, you need some bone meal. So I'm going to grab some uh, over here. Yeah, and of course you guys, I'm sure you, know, you guys know how to get bone meal. You just basically put bones in the in the crafting bench and you can convert it to bone meal that way so you want to place down one sunflower like so and if you use a bone meal on it you'll get a sunflower back so you can just keep spamming your bone meal and basically you will have in infinite sunflowers as long as you have enough bone meal to keep on doing this so as you can see i now have a stack and a half of sunflowers right there once we have a stack right or once we have even a single sunflower you can pretty much make as many sunflowers as you want so just go and get some sunflowers from the auction house. Really easy that way. So guys, let's go and craft it right now. So again, three glass for the day saver, same as the night saver here, and some nether quartz in the middle. And at the bottom, you want to place some sunflowers. And there you go, guys. That's the day saver and the night saver. Now, of course, we are going to place this down because I also want to see how this works. So first of all, you're going to place down the day saver because it's actually nighttime right here, as you can see. So I'm just going to place on the day saver and yeah, so that's how it works. There's some nice uh, animation going on here. Yep, so you can see it says you place a day saver, it will now always be day on your private island. Now I wonder what happens if you place down both the day saver and night saver. So we're going to try this out. Will it just uh, follow the latest one that you place down, which is the night saver? Or is something else going to happen? Let's find out. So, okay. 
So it says here there's a day saver and night saver placed on your island. Their effects have cancelled each other out. So now you guys know not to place them together basically. You can only place one or the other at a given time. So if I want it to be night time, I'll have to destroy the day saver. And if I want it to be daytime, then I'll have to destroy the night saver and just place down the day saver. But in my opinion, the day saver is always more useful. I, I just like things, you know, bright and cheery. And it's perfect for recording as well because everything is brighter. So I'm going to be using the day saver a lot for sure. And of course, the day saver, another useful thing about the day saver, which I actually have mentioned in a previous video about the minion fuel, is that if you look under the nether quartz collection, at the final stage, you get a solar panel, which increases the speed of your minion by 25% during the day. Now, if you have a day saver, it's pretty much daytime always. So it's a 25% speed bonus all the time. And that's why the day saver comes in handy. So I hope you guys have found this video insightful on how to change the time in your Hypixel Skyblock Island. If you guys have found this useful, be sure to consider subscribing to the channel as I upload a lot of Hypixel Skyblock videos and other kinds of Minecraft content here as well. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at ChronoFairy, link is in the description. And check out my playlist of Hypixel Skyblock guides and tutorials, link to that is in the video description as well. So thank you guys for everything so far. You know, we've just recently reached 2,100 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you guys for all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.